good morning channel subscribers this is jeff um, it's a nice tuesday morning getting myself prepped to go out to ride <laughs> nice day out nice day out um, so last week we were riding got back to the car and i dropped a pair of glasses and picked them up and while i was looking at them i kind of went you know what this is going to be a little motivation for my next shoot since i haven't shot or put out anything in a while so let's talk about cycling glasses and of course you know in the end i'm going to talk about my favorite cheap brand or my favorite inexpensive brand sirocco and also for comparison i got my tifosi athon um so if you're new to cycling you kind of go well why can't i just wear sunglasses and you know i tried that you know this is a pair of ray-ban i got for christmas a few years back um right about the time I started cycling, so about three years ago. And you kind of go, well, why can't I wear them? Well, they're not really made for cycling. The designs just don't work for cycling. Lenses are great, but my big issue came with the arms and right around the nose piece, this plastic. So when you're looking over your shoulder, you know, your vision is blocked by the nose piece area and depending on the thickness the arms now trail riding you know and by trail i mean paved bike trails in the city you know you ride around kind of a casual t-shirt ride then this is okay and i have used these in an emergency and they were they were just fine <clears throat> so about the same time I purchased my first set of um, Sirocco. Excuse the patio. Again, we're in the southern U.S., so those big Georgia pine kick all kind of pollen and crap up. Anyway, back to what we're supposed to be doing. So, about three years ago, of course, you know, this was my first Sirocco public pub purchase. One shot, one take, no editing. My first purchase. Um, I picked these up from Sirocco.com. At the time, I think they were on sale for like $49, which when you compare that to, you know, Pac or Smith Optics, um, dang, I just had a mind fart. Um, some of the major brands, Oakley's, you know, you're talking about upwards of 200 bucks for a pair of cycling glasses, you know, which for me, eh, I could squeeze it, but I really, didn't want to so again 49 bucks um got the case first set of lenses which i'm gonna slide out i actually came with this lens which is kind of a blue green and they worked great you know i don't know if this is gonna work with the camera but you know they're polarized pretty good sun protection i just didn't like the yellowish glare and what sent me to these was um, there's a cyclist in Florida by the name of Clint Gibbs and he took these and did a torture test so he took a hammer and literally beat these to death um, this particular set of lenses is three years old I've had this lens for three years and other than you know fingerprints and sweat and boogers you know I drop them full front from waist high you know three plus feet being newbie i kicked them twice trying to pick them up before anybody saw me drop them and like i said these things have been bulletproof so i went back spent 20 more bucks for night riding and gravel riding bought a clear set of lenses same thing you know i use these in the fall and winter for gravel rides they um, get knocked about a lot I get hit with rock sand sticks everything that's flying up off the wheels from the guys that I'm riding with and I finally settle on their what they call just photochromic and so they block or the transmission of light is as low as 11% and as high as 42% so you know out of the box they're fairly dark 
by comparison, you know, to a clear lens. So fairly dark. I'm gonna sit these out and let them get, let them roast and get all the way dark. Um, this is actually the K3S, which is the runner's glasses. You know, I don't have a super, super big head, but that round shape is perfect. So when I'm off the bike or getting my stuff together to ride, I throw these on, set them up on my head, and they stay in place. So if you are a runner, these are great. Um, what I and I say easy and modular, you just pop off the nose piece, they unclip right at the arm, and they pop out here. So get a color the lens was called two tabs up top the tab at the arm and the nose piece and the new ones just simply pop in what I don't like and the only thing I don't really like is the bridge of my nose is a little bit on the broad side and this does not adjust in here so this is pretty narrow it's one size in there and that doesn't adjust but the arms have been comfortable even though mine are chewed up and they do send you two pair of ear tips I just haven't changed them this whole thing pretty much just pushes off and then you slide the new ones on this is kind of like not like my everyday run or my everyday ride pair of glasses anymore good protection you know good peripheral vision good coverage and again they they can take a hit so I'll sit those down and let those kind of soak up the sun and go to my next purchase so only because I want it <laughs> so the red lenses went and picked up a set of Tafosi it's kind of hard to see so this is the Ethan they cost almost as much as my whole Tavosi system. So again, you know, 39 bucks for the original frame. The photo the <coughs> photochromic lens is another 30. These were like original. And then about 20 bucks for maybe 15 for the clear. So original set. I think they were like 89 bucks on sale. Right away, what I don't like is I dropped them one time, and I know it's hard to see, but one time, and this has to be replaced. Great lenses as far as <laughs> they're cranking up at Fort Bennett <laughs> on the ranges, I'm like 10 miles from the um, tank ranges in two of the qualification ranges so this is like a daily occurrence but anyway worked great and then I went back and spent a few more bucks and purchased what they call phototech and so these are actually lighter than the Sirocco so let's just detrash and just let these sit and as you can see, the Sirocco have already basically reached their 11%. And these will pick up and get down as well. So, evening rides, early morning rides, where I'm starting out in daylight, but I'm expecting it to get sunny, sunny. These will darken up pretty good. They don't get as dark, so I think they may be maxed out around 14% versus the 11%. But... You know, fully customizable when you order. So, ear tips you can choose the color, frame you can choose the color, the brow and the nose piece you can choose your colors. The logo is usually silver. I use some acrylic paint and a q tip and black and mine completely out so murdered mine what i do like about the tafosi is the adjustable nose piece so that adjusts 
So if you got a big honker like me, you can spread them. You got a little narrow honker, you can squeeze them in. But for the money, as always, Sirocco has a pretty good product. I've had these for three years. They are well used. They are, they haven't failed, they haven't broken. I haven't had a reason to replace anything. As you can see, you know, they've got battle scars from being dropped. They've got wear and tear, but none of the lenses show damage. None of the lenses have issues. It's just choosing colors. And of course, it, after you buy them, you know, you get a couple of lenses for, I say, half the price of a single lens set of Oakleys. You've got a full lens system with a hard case and a sunglasses bag. So, thanks everyone for watching. This is kind of my one take blunder. Sirocco versus my Tifosi. Um I wouldn't hesitate to purchase the Tifosi set again. I mean, excuse me, the Sirocco set again, given the cost and the fact that they're always on sale. Let me get my other phone out. They always run in some kind of special, always. Like I said, you know, on their website, lenses are listed. I know it's hard to see this. But, and those prices, they go up and down. They go up and down depending on the month. And right now, the K3, which is the true cycling glass, is like 43. And like I said, you get different colors. And then just go back and customize on your own. And then the jerseys. Which I gotta check those jerseys out. But anyway, thanks for watching. Again, you know, I've been busy, haven't had time to really set up my other cameras and my other production stuff and actually start doing legit videos. But I did want to get some information out just to kind of whet people's appetite and keep you somewhat interested in my little boring channel. Thanks for watching. Until next time, peace.